Hello friend, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you that how you get input from user. Mean to say that how you get input on runtime. For getting input on runtime, in Oracle we have substitution variable. The substitution variable store value temporarily, there are three types, single ampersand, double ampersand, define command. We have these three options to store values temporarily on runtime. First of all, we define single ampersand. Single ampersand to promote the user every time at the execution of a command for a value. Example 1, select eid ename from imply where eid is equal to ampersand imply underscore number. And then output for enter value for imply underscore number. Then example 2, select eid ename from imply where eid is equal to upper small bracket ampersand imply underscore and then we have a second type of substitution variable which is double ampersand use double ampersand if you want to reuse the variable value without promoting the user each time example select eid double ampersand ename from imply added by ampersand ename the third substitution variable is defined it creates a character data type user variable use undefined command to delete it syntax defined variable is equal to value and here below are the example of the third defined substitution variables now for creating a substitution variable let's log in into the sql class and do it live first of all for single person write command select eid comma ename from imply where eid is equal to ampersand imply underscore number put a semicolon press enter key now here in the output you will see that the Oracle SQL class say that enter the value for imply underscore number. Don't put a semicolon, press enter key. Now here you will see that it show us some record. For second substitution variable double ampersand, write command select eid comma double ampersand ename from imply order by Ampersand e name put a semicolon press enter key. Now it will show that enter the value for e name write column name e name which is our column field name of table. Don't put a semicolon press enter key. Now here you will see that it shows some record in descending order. In ascending order, sorry. Now for third substitution variable, define column 1 is equal to eid, put a semicolon, define column 2 is equal to ename, define table is equal to imply, define condition is equal to 2. Put a semicolon, now write query for These above define substitution variable. Select ampersand column 1, comma ampersand column 2 from ampersand table where eid greater than ampersand condition put a semicolon. Press enter again. Now here you will see that it shows some kind of data or result. 